When we want to make REST API call, we usually use HTTP and DO packages. These packages are easy to use. But if you want a cleaner code, I recommend using Retrofit package, even though it is more complex, that it is not and it is very easy. So, to call REST APIs by sending dynamic headers, parameters, request and response in a custom and secured way, Retrofit is the best way. To get started, first we need to add these packages to the project. Build Runner is used for code generation in Dart apart from the pub. Also, JSON serialization creates a model class from JSON data. Now, first we create a folder named service. Then, inside this folder, we create a file named API service. Here, we first define an abstract class called API service. This class is responsible for handling all the network call methods. Because Retrofit generates code, we must specify the .g file with part at the top of the file. In our case, it will be API service.g.dart. Also, we need use REST API annotation and pass the API base URL to it, so the generator will know it's a retrofit interface. Then also we need create a factory constructor that accepts DO. We are going to make a request to this API. As you can see, the response that the server sends us is in JSON format. So we need to parse this JSON. First, we create a folder. Then inside the folder, we create a file called postmodel. Now here we create a class called postmodel. Then we define the parameters of the model which are the same as the JSON parameters. Then we create the constructor of the class. Also we need to create functions called from JSON and to JSON which translate a JSON to our user. As you can see from the to JSON and from JSON functions, we are going to use serializable JSON. So we need use JSON serializable annotation. Also we must specify the .g file with part at the top of the file. In this case it will be postmodel.g.dart. Now we return to the API service file. Here, the last thing we need to do is to define the method that we are going to make a request to the API. Therefore, in the abstract class, we define a future method called getPosts, which returns a list of post models. We do not implement this method, and it is supposed to be implemented by the retrofit generator. Only now it is enough to determine what method this is, that's why we have to use HTTP annotation. Therefore we must use retrofit annotations, as you know the type of request we send to the API is get. Retrofit uses the base URL that we defined above, and now we need to put the path in get, which can be posts according to the API URL. And finally, to fix these errors and generate the .g files, it is enough to enter this command in the terminal. As you can see the errors were fixed and .g files were generated. The implementation of the application logic is done. And now we have to implement the UI. So I create a folder called pages and then create a file inside it called home. Here we first define a stateless class, then in the build method we return a scaffold, and also set the app bar. In the body we can use the future builder widget to get posts, and display them. So, I make a widget called body which is a future builder type. Now here we first define the API service class instance. As you know now we have to return a future builder. In the future parameter, we put the method name get posts in the API service class. Then we check in the builder, if the data is received from the server, show the posts, otherwise, show a loading circular progress indicator. Now to display the posts we create a widget called posts, which has a list of post models in the input and returns a list view builder. Here in item count property set the posts length to display the posts in list view. And finally in the builder method, we create a simple box using a container that displays the title and body of the post. And finally we return the posts widget and also set the body widget in the scaffold. Now if we restart the app, we will see that the posts are displayed correctly. And make sure hit the subscribe button to get next video.